YouTube, YouTube. Welcome to the Sound Off Show. Eva Longoria sowing racial tension between Black and Latino women. Let's talk about it. But I want to talk about what you just said about the women. The women of color showed up in big ways. Of course, you saw uh, in Georgia what what uh, uh, Black women have done, but the Latina women were the real heroines here, beating men yeah. in turnout in every state and voting for Biden-Harris at an average rate close to three to one. So and what happened is, in a recent interview on MSNBC, the Desperate Housewives star said, the women of color showed up in a big way. Of course, you saw in Georgia what black women have done, but Latina women were the real heroines here, beating men in turnout in every state and voting for Biden-Harris at an average rate close to three to one. So after she made this statement, she received major online backlash in which she was accused of anti-blackness and the erasure of black Latina women. LaGoria has since apologized, saying sorry and clarifying her comments. She has said, I'm so sorry and sad to hear that my comments on MSNBC could be perceived as taking credit from black women. She tweeted, when I said that Latinas were heroines in this election, I simply meant that they turned out in greater numbers and voted more progressively than Latino men. She also added, my wording was not clear and I deeply regret that. There is such a history in our community of anti-blackness and I would never want to contribute to that. Longoria then went on to celebrate the actions of black women saying they are the backbone of the Democratic Party and saying she has nothing but love and support for black women everywhere. She concluded, you deserve a standing ovation. Let me make this clear. The Biden-Harris victory was a victory won collectively. No one race or nationality can take ownership of the victory. It was a collective win. So sowing seeds of discord in a time of healing is counterintuitive. It only sets the stage for a who's better than who contest. And you know, we need that just as bad as we need four more years of Trump. I definitely agree with you. And coming in the defense of Eva, you had Kerry Washington, who we know is also a famous actress representing the black Latina community. She stands in defense of Eva. She said, I know Eva like a sister. We have been in many trenches together. She's a fighter for all women. Read below. This is what she meant. This is how she truly feels. Okay, so Carrie is standing up for Eva and definitely trying to point out that her true sentiments are not an anti-black or trying to divide the black and Latino communities. And I think that that's important to hear from black Latina in support of Eva to know that we should not be dividing our communities. We should not be competing against each other. We should actually be congratulating each other for our efforts in this democratic process of getting Biden and Harris elected because it's a win for all of us. And we don't want to continue to divide because that is the same type of rhetoric that Trump spewed for the last four years and that is what has us in the place that we are today as a divided nation. In the interview where she describes the Latina woman as the CEO of the household due to the fact they make all of the financial, health, and education decisions in the house. That speaks to me of sowing discord in the home between the man and the woman. And, and that wasn't surprising to us. You know, Latinos are the CEOs of the households. They make all the financial decisions and healthcare decisions and educational decisions. Many Latinas are small business owners and they wanted a plan for recovery um, for themselves, not for Wall Street. And so Trump's policies were never aimed at the struggling Latina community. Now, of course, if we're talking about a single woman, then she has no choice but to be the CEO of the household. And that's just straight facts. And shout out to all my single mothers holding it down. So let's ask ourselves, is it possible to have a nation united while we have homes divided? I believe statements like the one she made about women being the CEO of the household, sow seeds of discord between the man, ultimately leaving the home divided. Because listen, any man who hears those statements can understand they're basically, she's calling you lunch meat. Sit there and shut up until I need you, says Eva. 
those statements she made about Latino men were just as offensive as the one she's apologized for. And I happen to know plenty of Latino men that are upstanding citizens, great providers, and they take care of their homes. Final thoughts, the great divide is over. The time now is for healing and building unity. I don't feel we should describe ourselves as black, white, Hispanic, Latino, or other. If we're American citizens, then we are Americans. United we stand, divided we fall. This has been your Sound Off Show, signing off.